Now, to add a new user to the system, let's assume now that I'm the only one who's using the system. I want someone to help me out because maybe the transaction are much. I want someone to be handling invoice. Uh, and the person will not be able to do another thing again. To do that, you go to company, then you see users. You can you see users. So this is when you manage your users on the system. So you see set up users and rules. Manage login settings and view users. When you set up users and role, this is where you now set up a user and the role. That means what the person will be doing on that system. Now, to add a new user, you click new. When you click new, so this is where you now enter the person's username, password. So that if the person wants to log on from his own system, the person will need to enter that username and password. Now, a very important part is the user role. What would the person be doing if the person logs in? Let's say I'm only restricting the person to sales. You can only enter sales. You won't enter any other thing. All I need to do is you come down here, you select sales. When you select sales, then you click add. So, so I can assign a username. Then I'll select sales and click add. So here I've added the person's name and the role the person can perform. I know that if you scroll down, you will see sales. You will see add. You will add. When you add it, then you click okay yes from his own yes yes that's the essence of this this one now is that assuming that the data file is on my computer and i want you to access my data file i want you to access my data file i can create a username for you from this place i'll go to username for then i can now also assign role so if you now want to log on to my own system hmm, this is how you log on to my own system that means if additional user wants to access your own system this is how the person access it look at it look at the way i'm going to demonstrate it here this is very important now to do that you go to file that means when you launch quickbooks or your own system you go to file you now click open or restore company here when you click open or restore company then you now select open a company you click next when you click open a company system will now ask you where do you want to open that company now it is at this point you will now select this either you select the system or you select the server this is how you select the system i'm waiting for this, this um, company to close so that we'll see how to select the system that we want to access or the server So now, when you now click open the company, this is how to access the system. This is your own computer. To access the own system, you click network. When you click network, system will now show you all the systems that are in your own network. All the systems must be in the same network. It's not like I'm using a different network, you are using a different network. No. All the three systems must be on the same network. Because if you are not on the same network, there's no how you can see each other. That's like local area network. Then I will now select the network. Now, some companies will say, what if we have different branches? I want, to, I want the server to be stored in, in the cloud, maybe through an IP. That means they will need to meet an IT company that will create an IP address for them. So anytime you want to access the QuickBooks through an IP address, when you come to network, all you need to do is type in the IP address. 
when you type in the IP address here and call it up, system will call up the folder that is in the cloud. Then you can now start accessing people. This one is for multiple locations. They are not in the same place. One is in, one is here, other one is in Lagos, other one is in Abuja. So they can be accessing the data file from an IP address. This is exactly what this company did with Canal. They have a branch in Nigeria, they have UK, they have Kenya. So they have to put their people file on the cloud. So anybody that wants to access it will call up the IP address, pick the data file and be working directly. And if you log in, the existing users will see a notification that this person has logged in. You can even initiate a chat with a user on the system. Hmm? Look at it here. Yeah, that's what I'm demonstrating here. Anytime you want to access the network, you use file. You go to file. Just look at what I'm doing here. This is how you go to file, open or restore company. When you click open or restore company, you see open a company. Then you click next. Then when you click next, you now select network. Yeah. You select network. When you select network, the system will now show you all the users in that network. So this is where you now find the server. Or if it's an IP address, maybe a wide area network, you enter the IP address here so that you can easily access the data file on an IP address. All right. I think it is an IT person who maybe the company that actually helped you to set up the network that can take over from here and make it easier for you. I'm just trying to explain how you can do that. So.